Hello, this is with uh, Collecting Maddox. I'm going to go over some uh, top sales, some interesting sales from uh, Greg Maddox over September so far. I'm going to be out of town for a couple days, kind of, and I won't be able to just make this one. And I kind of just wanted to put another one together and see how it goes. Uh, so we're going to kind of start out. Uh, we got some game tickets here. So uh, there's kind of a, a little bit of a debate here whether this is actually a real real ticket here regarding um, Greg Maddox's debut. So his actual debut was technically on uh, this September 2nd game, but this game went 18 innings. And uh, it's actually kind of a nice nice one from, like if you're a Nolan Ryan collector as well. Uh, started out Nolan Ryan starting pitcher um, and uh, essentially went into extra innings into uh, the 15th inning it was still 4-4 so they delayed it until the following day of September 3rd um, so I'm kind of curious uh, what uh, what you think this one has a nice little pinhole on the top of it so I'm almost thinking this is not a legitimate sale uh, just based off of what's going on here so yeah just kind of my thoughts on that um, but I definitely see this as more of the standard one. It, this one actually comes with a full program as far as like what they had filled out, uh, kind of the score sheet along with it. So it was kind of cool, cool seeing that as well. These are both way out of my price range, so I don't have to worry about if they're scamming me out of out of it. But I I would not. Uh, yeah, I'm not the one who has to worry about this being legitimate. So yeah, let's get into. Uh, some of the cards um, kind of starting out is kind of as always is the 10 uh, traded Tiffany so sold for $560 in 26 bids so again as always just kind of your what I'd say most people consider his uh, his prime rookie card uh, that Tiffany version looks really really nice um, I would definitely say, yeah, that's that's definitely a 10. I couldn't see, can't really see anything wrong with it. Maybe it's just more the photo in the upper right-hand corner of the card. Might have a little bit of a ding, but that might just be the photo as well. So, But again, centering looks nice, looks really clean. Can't complain about that one. That one looks very, 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 very nice. Uh, and then there were a couple coming in as far as the modern cards. Um, I thought that was really interesting, seeing uh, that there's still a lot of a lot of demand within there. But this uh, Topps Chrome Sonic, numbered out of 10, um, has autos from Greg Maddox, John Smoltz, and Tom Glavin, coming in right at $600. But pretty sweet card. Um, again, kind of Maddox's uh, pretty much, uh, with the exception of Tom Glavin, I think is about the only sort of legible one between uh, Greg Maddox and John Smoltz. Essentially can't tell who their actual autographs, but still pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool card, especially from somebody growing up watching the Braves during the 90s. Uh, next one looking at is the Super Fractor. Again, I'm not a big, big collector within the non-playing playing area. Playing, playing era of uh, Greg Maddox, so I will not be owning one of these one-of-ones. Uh, pretty cool card, pretty cool image. Uh, but yeah, finished at uh, $610 and 38 bids. But again, can't really see anything wrong with it. Definitely, I would say as a 10 as well, just really, really clean. And the last one I'll kind of go off on is, again, bringing this card back. Just kind of you can see the difference between what that other one uh, brought without the auto and then adding in the auto for that. So, again, Greg Maddox's uh, autograph is next to illegible, uh, which, but he's, he's very, very consistent with what his illegible uh, autograph actually looks like. But you can see what what we're looking at for just adding in that auto. So $1,914 for adding in that auto. But again, 
Really, really clean card. Can't see anything wrong with it at all. Um, clean autograph, clean card, and uh, that's really all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.